Hey everybody, what's up? I got a, a pretty neat little tool that I think um, everybody will like. It's a, st it's a stitcher tool. It's called the Speedy Stitcher Sewing All. Um, I actually bought it to repair some interior pouches on my helicopter. They were uh, ripping at the seams, so I just uh, used it to stitch them up and it worked really well. And I thought, man, this thing would be great just to have laying around the house if you needed to stitch up an old shoe or an old boot maybe a work glove or something um, it's a pretty neat little tool um, it comes with a roll of thread that's uh, that's carried in the wooden handle there uh, the thread is pretty heavy duty I know you can get some smaller thread but I think you got to purchase uh, the needle that goes inside you got to get a little smaller needle so you can use a smaller thread this is more of a, a heavy duty uh, thread is I think it's wax coated or something so it's a little easier to work with but basically how it works is you unscrew this cap and you have two needles uh, one's a curved needle um, I guess for you maybe if you need to go around a corner or something and then the other one is just your typical straight needle but this needle has a little groove in it uh, right here and basically you're just going to line that groove up with the thread coming out of the handle like so. so after that you just run your thread through the, the eye if I can get it through there and pull it through and then you just put your cap back on screw that down tight like so and then uh, you want to get this fairly tight if you're using if you're going to do like a thick leather or something that's going to pinch this needle as you you know you pull in and out um, you want to get this this cap fairly tight you don't want to strip the threads or anything but fairly tight um, it's got a little tack here that you pull the thread out and you and you loop it and then pull it that way when you're pulling your thread back through your stitch you can hold it with your thumb right here and then pull it through and it keeps everything nice and tight I'll kind of show you how that works but the first thing you want to do is say if, if you, if you got to stitch something you want to pull out enough thread um, you know if you're doing a three inch stitch you want to pull out enough thread that's going to cover that three inch so it's just going to take some practice I'm going to be honest with you I've used this like three times so um, I'm just going to pull out a little bit. I'll say that much. And I got a old shop towel here. I'm just going to stitch together real quick to show you how it works. Basically, you're just going to take this point, make sure you don't get your fingers. And you're going to run it through. And then the part that you have pulled out, you're just going to pull that through like so. And then you're just going to pull the the needle back through and go to your to your next hole. So let's say you you know you want to make maybe a quarter inch stitch. So you're going to go back through at the quarter inch mark, and you can just kind of eyeball this. All right. So you push through, and then once you make that first stitch, when you push through and you pull back, it's going to make a little loop or a little hole in the thread. I wouldn't necessarily say that's a hole, maybe just a little uh, a half loop there. You can see as I'm pulling that in and out it makes that little loop. So all you do is you just run that thread through the loop and then you want to hold this thread tight put your thumb right here that way as you're pulling back out it doesn't pull any thread out of the out of the handle and then you're just going to pull it back through and pull it tight pretty simple right and then we'll make our second stitch and then you know as you make stitches 
like let's say I get a few more down I'm running out of thread here you just pull more out of the handle so we'll go to our second stitch here pushed it in and then pull it out so it makes that loop I'll run this through You're going to hold that tight, put your thumb on the handle, pull it tight. And that's pretty doggone tight. And as you can see, it's making the stitches as I go. And I'm not, like I said, an expert at this, I just did it a few times. So I'm going to make four or five of these stitches more and then I'll show you how to to wrap it up at the end. See I just pulled a little more out that way it gave me a little more room and you can see it's starting to make the stitches. Now this um, like I said this is not and I'm just kind of eyeballing this. You could probably pin a line in or something to make a few dots if you wanted to get it like exact. A lot of times if you're repairing a shoe or something, um, you'll just pick up the holes that are already in there that were the thread that was there that's coming off or an old boot and you just plug right back into the same holes. But I'll do a few more of these and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Alright, as you can see I've made several more stitches there on each side um, well not really each side but you can see each side so on the final on the final stitch basically you're just gonna push this through and then pull out all your slack there like so and then you can just grab your scissors hopefully you got better scissors than me here like I said this is tough thread Try my right hand a little more coordinated. There we go. And then you just pull this out. And then you're just going to take these two and do maybe just a couple overhand knots, tying them together. I'm not sure if that's the actual best sewing knot. But that's the ones I'm going to use. So basically, there you go. Your own little stitcher for use at home. Now it's funny, since I bought this, I've been looking for stuff to stitch around the house, but I can't find anything. But the next time I have an old boot or something else, um, glove or shoe, uh, this is definitely going to be instead of buying a, a new pair if you got something separated you just uh, you just grab this little thing and and do your little do your little number on it but it's it's very strong you can see I mean you can tell it looks like a stitches in a, in a boot obviously this is like I said it's nothing uh, I just kind of eyeballed it but if you wanted to do a nicer job you could like I said, this thing's only like 12, 13 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's made by uh, Stewart Manufacturing, and here's the website, speedystitcher.com. I think you can buy it from there. Um, I bought mine from Amazon. Um, I think uh, I think you can buy the the thread if you want to, you know, change your thread, go to a little even different color or a little smaller thread. You can. You can buy the different needles for it, but I think these two needles are going to do um, plenty for what I need. I'm not really looking for aesthetics, so if I have a brown shoe and it has brown thread, I'll just throw this you know, tan beige thread in there. No big deal. But that's it, the Speedy Stitcher. I think this is probably one of those must-have tools around the homestead. Um, you can fix all kinds of things with this. So. Alright guys, uh, share the video if you like it, like us on Facebook, subscribe if you can, throw us a comment down below if you're having any problems, I'm trying to help you out with it. 
Um, like I said, you can just do a quick search if uh, um, you didn't find my video tutorial any any good. You can find some stuff on YouTube. But um, that's it, guys. Take care. We'll see you soon.